I've been asked a number of times how I make my friction polish and would I make a video of it. So that's what I'm going to do. It's very simple to make. It involves three ingredients. Shellac, and I use a pre-mixed Zinsser Bullseye, denatured alcohol, and boiled linseed oil. One third of each. I already have it pre-measured in these cups. It's just a matter of pouring it into a container. Put the lid on it and then shake it up. And it will separate even during use. So what I do is, when I'm ready to put some more on it, I just give it a little shake and it's all mixed up and ready to use. So what we're going to do now is go over to the lathe. I have a piece of wood prepared and I'll show you how I put it on. So I'll meet you over there. What I'm going to use to demonstrate that is a piece of walnut that quite a while ago I showed how I spray lacquer on and this is the piece I used. And I never did get around to turning the other side. So I've just flattened that and I've put a little recess in there. I cut it already and sanded it because that's not what this video is about. So now I'm going to put some sanding sealer on it. Alright, so I will use shellac based sanding sealer. I just wipe it on, soft cloth. Push it with the grain to get it down in there. And I go across it. But it is important with any finish that you do get it across the grain to get it in there because you can go right over the grain and may not notice it until you have two or three coats on there. So we'll let that dry and I'll come back and show you how I put the friction polish on. Alright, it is nice and dry and now I go over it with Scotch-Brite. And sometimes I run it in reverse after that, make sure I pick anything up that's sticking up. because it will raise the grain. That feels real nice. Now we'll put the friction polish on. Okay, we're all set. I have a fresh piece of cloth. I don't know if you can see that, but just in the time that we did this, it is separated. And now it's ready to go. Turn that down just a little bit to get it on. Okay, now I'll turn it up. You want to press just hard enough to create friction, heat it up, and then the shellac is laying flat and, and drying at the same time. And the oil linseed oil is just to allow you to do this. If you didn't have it, it would just stick. Okay, I'm going to finish this. Uh, I stopped last night after about three applications. It was time to go cook and uh, ready to put a couple more on. The other thing I did was I, I poured my mix into this container that I usually use. I think it's an old ketchup container, but I like that because it has a little spout in it and it's 
easier to get it out and in case it gets knocked over I don't lose it all at once and I use the glass one so you can see how it separates and if you know that it separates you know you should shake it so let's get a couple more on and I did go over this one with scotch Brite just a minute ago I don't know if you can see the reflection of that paper towel in there, but from where I'm at, you can. I'm feeling it get warm now, so I know it's about time. Okay. Just about there. pretty piece of walnut. Changes every time you turn it a little bit. It looks totally different. Alright, let's do one more. I think that's good right there. Well here it is. It's all done. I think I got uh, five coats on with the friction polish. Makes a pretty nice finish. Of course that's a pretty nice piece of walnut too. It's easy to put on and it's easy to make. And friction polish is very much like French polish and I think that's how it came to be. And they both have some sort of an oil in them and what the oil does is, if you're using a soft cloth, it keeps it from dragging. If you didn't have the oils in there, the shellac would dry real quick and it would just drag and it would just make a mess. So, I've made my own French polish and it works quite well. And what I do is I double the amount of shellac that I put in it and I use it on flat work. On anything that I can't spin on the lathe, that works quite well. Now, is this food safe? I don't know. There's too many opinions on what is and what isn't food safe. And I think what you need to do is you read the labels on what you're using and you make the decision yourself. I don't put food in these types of turnings. I certainly wouldn't put liquid in any bowl, wood bowl. and. I wouldn't put a salad in one. I just wouldn't do it. That's not why I make these. So uh, if you're concerned about using it with food, please do some research. I hope you enjoyed the process of how I make friction polish and how I use it. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And a special thanks to all my subscribers. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel and you feel so inclined, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and until the next time, I'll see you later.